This week, the images of the family and friends of those who were killed during the Parkland School Massacre will be greeting state lawmakers. Those portraits meant to remind the Florida legislature what was really lost during the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting two years ago come this Friday. And tonight, Capitol reporter Four Saunders showing us why these images are hard to avoid. These portraits are right outside of the elevators in the fourth floor rotunda, meaning it's going to be nearly impossible for lawmakers to avoid them. What photojournalist Ian Whitland sees looking at these photographs. I see anguish. I see pain. Suffering he captured in the faces of parents, teachers and fellow students who lost someone when the Parkland shooter opened fire, killing 17. It really hits a nerve. An excerpt of his work now sitting in the Capitol. The images staring at those headed to Senate and House chambers, a physical reminder of what happened nearly two years ago. These are your constituents. They may be from Parkland and Coral Springs, but they are the same faces and stories from elsewhere in our state and our country. This display, an effort by a Broward County lawmaker, Representative Dan Daly. Parkland is in the past. Um, for my community, it's, it's still very prevalent and we're still healing. Daily showcasing the photos as lawmakers consider gun law reform. Though not intended to pass specific legislation, he'd be happy to see the pictures help support policies like Senate Bill 7028 requires background checks at gun shows. If that's the unintended consequence, then I think that's a pretty good thing. The bill hasn't moved since passing its first committee last month. Plus, it's drawn criticism from gun rights groups for being too strict, despite having the support of Democrats and some GOP members. I think anything we can do is a step in the right direction. As lawmakers head to work this week, perhaps these faces will play a role in what happens next. A reminder of the past, potentially influencing the future. The display called Anguish in the Aftermath is going to be in the fourth floor rotunda until Friday. That marks the two-year anniversary of the Parkland shooting. That's the latest here. Back to you.